Look, Tom, mate, about last game, I think you know what you did wrong. No, mate, no. See, that's where you're wrong. Playing that sort of pass, that is highly unusual. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 9, Episode 11 today and, well, we have a chance to make history. We have a trip to Spain where Real Sociedad is in opposition. It is 2-2, of course, after the first leg and, uh, well, if we score two goals today, we will uh, break Manchester City's record of goals in the competition, 50. We will hit this competition for 50 with two goals today. Yes, we get a, quite a bit of advantage with some high scores in the uh, qualifying rounds, but for a club of our size, this is still a very very good achievement I think if we can get it so uh, let's hope that uh, even if it is a glorious defeat there are two goals for us in that uh, in that uh, glorious defeat now the other thing that's happened we are February 24th which means new signings have arrived uh, so a quick look this is uh, the guy that's been on trial with us for a little while we signed him as a promising center back he's now a young center back um, possibly down to the fact he hasn't really played competitive first team games while he obviously he's been only on trial so we'll see what happens with him worst case scenario we'll sell him on and uh, he's cost us nothing so we'll make a little profit there Lars Degen has joined us look at that transfer value already up to 17.5 million and uh, well he's a club record he's a Icelandic record uh, transfer fee and uh, we could already double our money so I think he's going to do very well hopefully he just is happy to be here that's really all we can ask from good players isn't it just be happy to be here for us and uh, the other one is uh, Cristobal Rojas 1.8 million uh, we could already almost double that as well not quite but uh, I, I really do like him as a striker. Uh, I just feel like he's got a lot of the attributes you want in a striker. And yes, he lacks a little bit physically, but we're going to see what we get with him. And again, worst case scenario, we should be able to sell him on at a profit. But uh, best case scenario, I think we're going to have quite a little uh, quite a little striker there that could play hopefully next to uh, Boutenson and you know Gadini. He should be able to fill in with either of them and, uh, and do quite well. So that is that. But uh, of course, we're all here for some Champions League football and this is uh, how everything looks. 2-2 going to Spain. Of course, going from Iceland to Spain in February might be a little bit of a culture shock for us. Uh, we're expecting a 4-4-2 out of them and the team that we are sending out, it is uh, Rafferson in goal. It's we're keeping faith with Jones, Parisi, Mosquera and Juleson. The other option at left back was uh, Johansson. Johansson is okay. I just, I don't like the jumping reach, if I'm honest. That's what's sort of holding me back a little bit here. Uh, and Juleson is, I think, at right back better than what Johansson would be at left back. And uh, Tom Jones, either footed, can play either side. We just need to hope he passes to the right team this time. Uh, Deanna, Antonio, and Bacali will be midfield. Iscala, Higuain, and Boutensen will be the front three. The match loads are light. The uh, the match sharpness is good. The only problem is these players here that are unhappy and want to leave. We just need to count on their professionalism today and trust that they are going to they're going to play well for us on the big stage. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. It looks roughly the same. This is the guy that got the two goals in the first leg, I think. Boutenson, of course, got the two goals for us. Uh, let's all the pressures on them. What do you have to lose? Got their cause an upset. Were the underdogs today? Caused a few surprises. Uh, the pundits may not believe in us. Can we go with that? But the fans do. Let's try getting uh, the fans on board here. Uh, let's try a finger point. Just, you know, mix it up a little bit and uh, make me proud, boys. And out we go. Uh, now, if we do happen to get through here, other than causing a massive upset, we will also have the first leg of the round of 16. We don't know who that's going to be against yet, of course, so there'll be a draw as well. If it was to not happen for us, then we'll have our end of season awards and our goal of the season competition. So, big episode. Hopefully, it's a big episode on the pitch and not uh, also in the uh, auditorium with the end of season awards. But, uh, well, let's see what we can do. I think whatever happens here, it has been a good season. Any year that we get into the knockout rounds of the Champions League, it's a decent year for us. I do think this is where we need to try and aim for now, uh, especially given the, you know, it's 2014. It's, it, it's effectively in the old system, like parachuting into the Europa League, and we do need to, that's what we need to be aiming for. We've got an early corner to defend here, though, and it's over the top. So uh, we get away with that one. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, won't we? It's... I just think if we come here with a lead, I'd feel a little bit more confident. We've got another free kick to defend. And this time, they're getting closer, aren't they? But still, it is uh, it is scoreless. Uh, yeah, you can see these the players that are unhappy. Are, they're not 
they're not looking good. I got a horrible feeling I shouldn't have picked Tom Jones here. Um, it was almost a Tom Jones back pass there, wasn't it? Parisi wins the header. Here we go. Bacali, Baltinson, Antonio. Oh, looking for the overlapping run of Julison. It was almost perfectly executed too, wasn't it? As a Scarlet goes across. Can we pressure them into a mistake here? Come on, boys. Just give the ball to us. No, they're playing around our press nicely, aren't they? Bacali puts a bit of pressure on. Can we win that back? You get the feeling something's going to happen here, don't you? I Scarlet tracks his man nicely. Can he stop the cross? He can't! Oh, and there's the goal, and we fall behind. We really did. I don't like Tom Jones out there. He's making me nervous. We're going to bring Sonny Johnson on. Or Johansson, I should say. Um, He's done absolutely nothing wrong, other than the fact he's just anxious and nervous. And it's one of these where I don't want to sell these players. Uh, but equally, we're sort of at the point now where we can. Uh, well, once we're out of the Champions League, we can. Because it doesn't matter then. We can re-register them for next year's competition. So, how are we defending here? Are we trapping them outside? Yeah, that's what we want to do because they've got inverted wingers. So, yeah, it's... It just doesn't help, does it? It just doesn't help having the players that are unhappy. Parisi is on a booking. Um, all right, let's bring Imminent on. I'm not going to stuff around here. We, we can't afford to. So, Imminent will come on, I'm assuming, for the second half. It's 1-0. The tie is still very much on. Let's go with unlucky. Let's try and build a bit of a bit of faith in the team. Deanna is looking anxious. And I tell you what, when I have uh, Albert Johnson on the bench, who's also looking apprehensive, he wants to leave as well, actually, doesn't he? So that doesn't really help us. So we might just stick with it and hope that he comes good. They've made a change as well. Uh, Imminent looks nervous coming on, but at least he's not on a booking, I suppose. Julison is now on a booking as well. I mean, we are running out of... <laughs> I can't just take everybody off. Um, let's try another encourage. I mean, if we're looking for positives, they've not. It's been a very quiet game since they scored. Let's try a focus, maybe. All right, it's not. There's nothing happening. Iskala's not having a good game. Let's get Palacios on for him. Baltinson not having a good game. Let's get Gadini on for him and hope that Gadini can maybe provide a little bit of magic for us. Uh, Deanna on a booking. How many subs do we have? Let's get Gis... Uh, no, let's go with Albert Janssen. And surely that is us uh, subbed out at that point. We've got a free uh, corner. Bacali gets it in towards him and it's headed away. He's going to get another chance. It's Palacios. It's Palacios. It's blocked on its way through. Mesquera will keep it alive for us. Mesquera. Oh, Higuain penalty. Oh. I'd like to see it again. We won't. But... It's one of those where it's very soft, but I think by the letter of the law, that is surely a penalty, and that is a penalty, and it's Johansson and left back. Where's Depe when you need him? Julesson's having a nightmare, but we're out of subs. Uh, I mean, it is a penalty. There's there's just no way around it. Can Rafferson once again save our bacon from a penalty save? Come on, mate. Oh, it, wasn't, it was one of the easier ones potentially for him as well. And I think that might be it. But it comes back, too, to that Higuain one. Surely he was tripped in the box. Oh, Rafferson, you've he's made so much better saves than that. Uh, let's try a berating and just... We need two goals in, what, ten minutes or so. Let's try Gadini. Uh, he likes to play as a Trey Cortista, so let's, let's let him go and do that and see what happens. And, oh, it's a good tackle from Imminent, but it's not fallen for. He's out of position now at the back, and that will do it. 3-0 just seems very, very harsh on us, but we've not shown up today, have we? Imminent, oh, he's, he's, he's done well, but it just it didn't fall, and then he's out of position. Uh, Johansson can't quite get back. Rafferson, could he have done a little bit better with that angle? And... Yeah, it's just, I feel like that is... The thing is, Imminent, he probably does have to stay on his feet there, doesn't he? But, uh, yeah, the season ends in a little bit of a just massive anticlimax. Can we finish it on a high? We're not going to get our two goals either, which is disappointing. Antonio wins it back. Last goal wins, Ref. That's the rules, isn't it? Doesn't matter, it looks like. Palacios, if you can't beat them, break them. Two-footed lunge. 
<laughs> He's done well there, Palacios. Actually, there's a decent ball into the penalty area, but... Yeah, we've come away from home here, and I think we've seen that we're still not quite where we need to be. And I just wonder, if we had if we had the happy players, would it have made a difference? Can we get the last goal yet? It's there for Antonio, and he's put it just wide. A one goal, of course, would have tied the Manchester City record. But ultimately... Ultimately, it doesn't matter, does it? It's just a nice thing to do, but... Yeah, I think we've seen enough from Palacios in this cameo to think maybe he's ready to come in. If Iscala's going to sulk, we could maybe look to sell him and Palacios could do a decent job for us. Certainly not let us down. Um, yeah, on the, on the evidence of this, we maybe do need a right back. Julison did not have a good game. Uh, I think maybe the stage got to us. You could make that argument. We weren't good enough today. Uh, am I angry? I don't think I'm angry. Maybe I am angry. I don't know how I feel. So there we go. It's just it's just a, a disappointing way to lose, isn't it? If we'd gone out sort of a little bit more fighting for it, it would have felt a little bit better, I think. But it just feels very, very deflating having lost uh, pretty much till the very end there without laying a glove on them. But anyway, that is that. So it will be a transfer special next episode. Uh, that begs the question: What do we what do we want to do? What do we need to do? Uh, I'm wondering these players that are unhappy. I'm wondering if we do just let them go. Parisi, I think, I kind of signed Degen with the idea of replacing Parisi. So I'm wondering if we get, yeah, like the 2.5 if we let him go. Tom Jones, the, the problem with Tom Jones is that he is potentially, he's only 18, he's potentially very, very good. But if he doesn't want to be here, is there a point? Is there a point keeping him? His positioning's not great as well. Uh, some of it may come down to if we can if we can get better. The other one is Deanna. I really like him, but again, if he's not happy, is it worth is it worth fighting that badly for him? Um, ultimately, though, they're here until the January win uh, the summer window opens up in Europe. We're not going to sell them to anybody. You know, Jotun I do want to keep. He is worth the fight because he's uh, he's he's Icelandic, so I do want to keep him. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, just a little bit of a disappointing way for things to end. Uh, in terms of a transfer budget, I might as well show you now. Uh, bearing in mind, we've already spent 10 million. We still have 22 to go. So we are not struggling. Look at that wage budget as well. Uh, we have money to burn. And uh, I think we do need to burn some, if I'm honest. We need to really try and uh, and get this squad where it needs to be for next season. But anyway, guys, wait right there. End of season awards are coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Grindavik End of Season Awards! Thank you! Thank you, everybody! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you and welcome to our Grindavik End of Season Awards! Another successful season, a seventh title into the knockout rounds of the Champions League. And, uh, well, we just, just don't quite have it, do we? If we had some happy players, it's a wonderful place to live, guys. Why aren't you happy just to be at Grindavik? I don't understand why you want to go to Bayern Munich and Manchester United and all those sorts of rubbish clubs. But anyway, uh, I think the guys did well this season. Let's give them a big round of applause and uh, let's hope that next season, next season's even better. The first award this evening is the Golden Pen, awarded to this season, signing of the season. Uh, and I wonder if we were retaking this vote, if maybe uh, opinion to change. But anyway, congratulations. Signing of the year is Tom Jones. Tom, maybe you could use the pen to write a letter of apology to the fans for that back pass, mate. Uh, next award is the Golden Bullseye, awarded to the player with the most passes completed per 90 minutes. And uh, this season, it goes to a centre-back who's done a pretty good job. 89 passes per 90 minutes. Congratulations, Wilma Masquera. <laughs> the next award is the Golden Spoon, awarded to the player who feeds the strikers, the player with the most assists. And it was a very good season from a very good player and uh, a very, very good countryman of mine. I always say he's too good to be Australian. 17 assists this year. Congratulations, Antonio Bacali. The next award is the Golden Anchor, going to the player we can rely on, the man with the highest average match rating. And this guy, uh, he's come in, he's been a rock at the back for us. And an average match rating of 7.77 would appear to back that up. So congratulations, the Golden Anchor goes to... 
Alberto Parisi. The next award is from the medical department. It is the Golden Cross awarded to this season's most injured player. And this guy, uh, we didn't really know he was missing, to be honest. But uh, he was 21% of the season. Congratulations goes to Hansi Mortensen. The next award is the Golden Soother, awarded to the baby of the team, this season's best young player. Though, in truth, I don't think this guy needs a soother anymore. Uh, he's been brilliant, though. It's a nice little uh, nice little dip of the tap to, uh, to what has been a wonderful, wonderful time he's had at the club. So congratulations. It's not done yet, by the way. He could be here next year. Who knows? He probably will be. It's Vasco Godini. The next award is the Golden Boot, awarded to the player who has scored the most goals. And this year, it is not Gadini. But nice to see him get something, as I said. Uh, but this year, with 32 goals at the point uh, that the tally stopped for the year, congratulations goes to the goal-scoring machine, Neil Baltensen. The next award is the Horse's Ass, awarded to this season's worst player, and difficult to give an award over the course of a season when the team is doing so well. But there's one moment I think we are all in agreement makes this man the horse's ass. And, uh, well, congratulations, Tom Jones. You know what you did. The next award is one that means so much to everybody here at the club. It is the Viewers Player of the Year, as voted by you watching at home on YouTube. And, uh, well, I want to thank everybody who took the time to nominate and vote. Uh, we had two nominees, and the man that you have voted as your player of the year with 63% of the vote. Congratulations, Yosefo Rafferson. Now, before we get to announcing this season's player of the year, we do need to acknowledge the team of the season. So if you do just direct your eyes up to the board, you will see that the goalkeeper is, of course, Rafferson. The back four is Depe, Mesquera, Parisi, and Jones. The midfield trio is Turpinson, Bacali, and Mashalek. Much better season from him this season. The wingers are Higuain and Daiskala. And the striker is, of course, the golden boot, Neil Baltinson. Congratulations, guys. You've all had wonderful seasons. And uh, what more to say next year, please. And now it is time for the big one. This season's golden star for the player of the year. And, uh, well, he's been absolutely brilliant. Viewers player of the year. Penalty saving extraordinaire. The Golden Star this season is a very well-deserved. Yosefor Rafferson. So there we go. Congratulations to Rafferson and the rest of the winners this evening. It's been it's been a typical Grindavik season, though we did extend into the knockout rounds of Europe. And that's got to be the goal now. That's got to be the goal. We're one of the big boys and we've got to make sure we're competing in the knockout rounds with those big boys. Uh, we've got money to spend this uh, offseason. It's going to be a very, very busy one, I'm sure. We need to maybe just get rid of some of these unhappy players and... Uh, we want people that are happy to be here so uh thank you for coming out this evening enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll see you next season at the new grindavik stadium thank you everybody thank you and good night thank you thank you so there we go end of season awards done for the year let's have a quick look here and see what we've got uh tom jones was our signing of the year hard to argue with that higuain uh loaded signing of the year absolutely nellum did okay he's an a plus as well uh tell you what the board like the signing today sonny johansson has done a decent job as a backup at left back uh torre was okay but i wouldn't say there's anything more than that depe a plus he's been quite good for us but we expected that we knew what we were getting when we signed him Deanna, I think he's, where he's going to shine is in Europe for us, and he's done okay there, and then we never saw this guy. We signed him to give Breeder Blink some money, and we loaned them back to him. Uh, any of the transfers out, go away and do anything. Goal played a little bit. Uh, we've got, what, Svensson played a little bit. Alvarado. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Nightclub himself has scored one goal. Uh, oh, Villarreal. Oh, does it? Uh, uh, Dolid, I should say. Is that uh, Madrid? He's probably loving life in Madrid, isn't he? Uh, and nobody else there has really gone and done uh, and done too much. Uh, let's have a look here. Season results. We did, of course, win the league. 
we made a little bit of hard work of it, but ultimately it was never in any real doubt. Uh, the Champions League, and of course at the time of recording, things are going not too badly for us. We're about to face Gank, so if things have gone horribly wrong or really well since then, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the Icelandic Cup, we uh, fell short, didn't we, with the, uh, with the gags this year. The Charity Shield, we managed to win quite comfortably. And the Icelandic... Um, sort of pre-season League Cup thing. We got all the way to the final and then lost, which is just a bit of a silly thing to do, really, isn't it? Moments to remember. The biggest win, a 10-0 over <laughs> Tallinn. Ah, oh, that was a game, wasn't it? We had a 4-0 win away to Halka, which is the match to remember. And the goal of the season, uh, well, I don't think it was ever in any doubt, was it? The Higuain wonder strike against Michel uh, Michelin. That was just stunning. Uh, we, of course, will vote ourselves, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm no surprise the game gave that as goal of the season, I should say. Uh, if you don't vote it, like I say, I don't know what's going to happen in between now and uh, the end of the Champions League. I just can't see that goal being beaten. Uh, we can see their sponsorship. Our uh, reputation has, it uh, says it's increased a little bit, but ultimately it's still three and a half star. Uh, shirt sale, Neil Baltonson tops the uh, list with Bacali, Gadini, Jonsson and Nellum as uh, the other big shirts. Uh, everything else they have had increases. The competition prize money is about the same. There's a very small difference uh, downwards but it's more or less the same team of the season now I think this has been fixed up from when we last saw it but uh, this is anyway that's yeah this looks about right um, not too many disagreements there to be honest that looks just about right to me maybe Turpinson would be a little bit lucky to be in there uh, at the expense of somebody else, but uh, when he does play, he always plays well, so yeah, not surprised to see him there at all. Uh, the accolades, let's have a look here. Fans player of the year was uh, Rafferson. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Penalty saving extraordinaire. Young player of the year, it really annoys me when it's a 24-year-old, but Gadini will give him any trophy he wants, really, won't we? Uh, we saw signing of the season, Tom Jones, goal of the season, we will vote on. Uh, Golden Boot, Boutenson takes it away from Gadini this year. Most assists was uh, Bacali. That's probably, is it a club record? Yes, it is. Uh, we have got most man of the match awards, Gadini, but of course we don't give that out on the night. Highest average match rating was Parisi, not often a centre-back gets that. And uh, most passes completed per 90 minutes was Mosquera at the back. Uh, most goals, league goals by a player in a season. Now that wasn't just a club record, that was a league record for Gadini. Uh, the assist is, I think, just a, uh, was it? Might, might be a league record as well. Uh, clean sheets in a season by Rafferson, that is insane, 27. And uh, most league goals by a player... Uh, that's in total overall in the history of the club, Gadini at 60. Well done to you, sir. And uh, yeah, all the other bits and bobs here, the supporter profile, more core fans, more fair weather fans, but family and hardcore fans have dropped. And uh, I mean, that's fine, isn't it? The rule changes is just going to be the uh, the change in transfer window dates. Uh, but yeah, that is it. It brings us to, of course, goal of the season. This is our best 11 as of right now. Boutenson has been one of four players inducted, along with Bacali, Rafferson, and Parisi, though none of them are yet in that starting uh, starting 11. Uh, but yeah, the way goal of the season works, if you're not familiar by now, there'll be a link down on top of the description. Watch the compilation. There'll be four nominees. And uh, yeah, vote for the goal that you think is our best. And we will announce the winner at uh, the beginning of next season hopefully if I remember the first uh, once we get uh, once we get the uh, the games underway first uh, proper episode of the season but that means next episode is going to be the transfer special we have money to spend lots and lots of money to spend and uh, yeah I wouldn't want you to miss that so yeah let me know what you think we need to strengthen and I will see you next time enjoy goals of the season take care Here are our top four goals from the 2031 season. Don't forget to vote for your favorite.